South Carolina's governor and lieutenant governor are going on the attack against abortions in the state. Harry McMaster and Kevin Bryant want to be sure no tax dollars are used for that procedure. Capitol reporter Robert Kittle tells us what they're doing. As president of the state senate, one of the lieutenant governor's jobs is to ratify acts, which is signing off on bills that have passed so they can go to the governor. And I'm challenging the legislature that the budget next year not to contain a penny for abortion providers. If the budget next year contains any funding for abortion providers, I will not be ratifying that act. If he doesn't ratify an act, President Pro Tem Hugh Leatherman can still do it. And right now, no state taxpayer money goes to pay for abortions. But Planned Parenthood does get federal Medicaid money to provide basic health care other than abortions. But Bryant doesn't think they should get any tax money since they perform abortions. And Governor Henry McMaster sent a letter to the Board of the Department of Health and Environmental Control asking them to take a vote to publicly reaffirm that it will not give any federal Title X grant money to abortion providers. The state director of public affairs for Planned Parenthood, Vicki Ringer, is out of town so she couldn't talk to me on camera, but sent me this written statement saying, quote, Planned Parenthood does not receive Title X funding or any other grants through the state of South Carolina. Given that, she says these are political stunts. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. DHEC stresses it does not provide any funding to abortion clinics and that the DHEC board is planning to discuss the governor's request at its July 13th meeting.